Hello students and welcome back for machine design tool lecture series. Today's topic of our uh, discussion is uh, design of clutch. So basically in today's topic or today uh, we will uh, discuss the theory related to clutches. Okay, I will share my screen. Okay, so today we'll discuss about the design of clutches theory. So basically, what is the function of clutch? Clutch is a me uh, mechanical, or you can say a machine member that can be used to connect a driving shaft with the driven shaft so that the driver shaft may be start or stop at a will without stopping the driving, sh uh, driving shaft. So simply you can say, when two shafts are engaged and after a particular time, if you want to disconnect the uh, driven shaft from driver shaft on the operator's wheel or any other issue, uh, you can directly simply um, disconnect it with each other by using this clutch. But in this case, your driving shaft is continuously working, okay? So, in simple uh, manner, you can say clutch is used to engage or disengage between driver and driven shaft, driving and driven shaft on operator's wheel. Okay, this is a simple definition for clutch. The use of clutch is mostly found in automobiles. Uh, a little consideration will be shown that in order to change the gear or to stop the vehicle and change the gear, it is required that the drive, drive shaft can disengage with the driven shaft. And, uh, and at that time, we can change the gear. Okay, but in same condition to uh, completing this operation, we should not stop our engine from running. Okay. Now it is therefore necessary that the driven shaft must be disengaged from the driving shaft and engaging disengaging of the shaft is obtained by means of the clutch, which is the operate, operated by an lever. Okay, now in two-wheeler we are operated with the hand and in four-wheeler we are operated with the, uh, the paddle. Now what are the basic classification of the clutches generally there are there are two types of clutches uh, on in based on the engineering practices positive clutches and friction clutches so based on the working principle there are near about 12 types of clutches are available first one is a friction clutch then single plate clutch multi plate clutch cone clutch, centrifugal clutch, semi-centrifugal clutch, diaphragm clutch, dog, spleen, uh, dog and spline clutch, electromagnetic clutch, vacuum clutch, hydraulic clutch, flywheel clutch. In this lecture, uh, we will discuss on single plate clutch, multi plate clutch and cone clutch. Also, we will discuss the design related to uh, these clutches. Now, basically, what is a positive clutch? You can say a positive clutch when these two jaws are engaging to each other. Okay, go with a simple example. First one is a square jaw clutch, where uh, the four frames has been designed, which is engaged uh, with the uh, other part. Okay, there is a fixed member and a second one is a moving member. Now, the fixed member is fixed or keyed on the shaft and moving member are able to operate by help of levers. Now, when it is rotating, at that time, we can simply move it and try to engage. But in this type of uh, clutches, 
the sudden engagement is occur and because of that the huge no noise and vibration has been created also the life of the engaging members get decreases because of that uh, uh, sudden engagement in spiral jaw clutch which you you have seen uh, in a figure number b here also same it is not a smooth uh, engaging the male and female uh, shapes are there they are directly engaged with the, each other and it can be a uh, similar sudden sudden engagement is there and because of that the most of the clutches can be fail during the operation itself now what are the different advantages disadvantages and application of this uh, positive type of clutches positive type of clutches does not slip because it is directly uh, engaged within the slot so it is not get slipped no heat is generated during the uh, engagement as there is no frictional forces is apply okay so that's why there is no uh, there is uh, heat will, will will not be pro, um, produced and because of that the heat generation issues is not occurred with the positive positive type of clutches disadvantages it cannot be engaged at the high speed as i see it is very difficult to engage while operating then engagement at any speed is uh, complete accomplished by shock and noise okay because of that the most of the failures are, can be occurred application it have very limited operation op uh, applications such as machine tools power shifting punches so these are the few applications where such type of positive type of clutches are used then next one is friction clutch uh, most of the in vehicles that is automobile sector is using this kind of friction clutch clutches a friction clutch is uh, working on the principal application in the transmission of the power of shaft and machine which may be started and stopped frequently okay its application is also found in case in which the power is to be delivered to the machine partly or fully loaded the force of friction is used to start the driven shaft from the rest and gradually brings it up to the proper speed without excessive slipping of the frictional surfaces in automobile the frictional clutch is used to connect the engine and the driving shaft in operating such a uh, operating such a clutch care should be taken that so the friction surfaces engage it easily or smoothly and it should be gradually uh, bring the driven shaft up to the proper speed so it means that it is gradually engaged and uh, it does without doing sudden engagement and sudden starting that nothing but the torsional movement is occurred so it 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 try to uh, engage in a slowly 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 manner and it started with the low rpm medium rpm and high rpm while engaging but driving shaft is running at a high speed but while engaging it can be occurred so that the gradual and smooth connection will be developed the proper alignment of the bearing must be maintained and it should be located close to uh, close to clutch as possible as uh, for uh, proper uh, alignment it is necessary uh, we need to uh, take care that the contact surface should be developed a frictional force that may pick up and hold the load with the responsibility uh, responsibly low pressure between the contact surfaces okay that's a very important uh, uh, phenomena for friction clutches the heat of friction should be rapidly dissipated and tendency to grab should be at a minimum so when uh, the engage get enga uh, when clutch is operated and it is surfaces get en engaged uh, because of friction force the heat is generated okay but the property of the material should be like that 
कि दे विल एज सुन एज दे डिसंगेजेस द हीट जनरेटेड विल बी डिसिपेटेड वेरी इजीली एंड इट शुड बी एज मिनिम एज पॉसिबल द सर्फेसेस शुड बी बैकड बाय द मटेरियल स्टिफ मटेरियल स्टिफ इनफ टू एंश्योर द रिस्पॉन्सिबल रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर यूनिफॉर्मली distribution of the pressure so whatever the engaging pressure is there it is totally uniformly distributed over the periphery of the uh, clutch so that the proper grip will be uh, received and the uh, appropriate power to be transmitted then the advantages disadvantages and application of the friction clutches generally friction clutch is mainly used for smooth engaging and minimum shock during the engagement then the frictional clutches can be engaged and disengaged when the machine is running since they have no jaw or teeth okay easy to operate they are capable for transmitting the partial power then the friction clutches can act as safety device they slip when the torque exceeds at a particular safe value thus the safeguard of the machine has been take care frequent engagement disengagement is possible on the operator's will disadvantages slip occurs at the start and the stop okay somewhat movement of the driving shaft uh, can be uh, occur because of that slip due to the slip wear and tear can be happen yes it is uh, it it happens with the frictional clutches application uh, the main application uh, is where the engagement and disengagement is very frequent continuously hame engage karna hai disengage karna hai and that application it may be a uh, automobile it may be in any in industry so in such type of applications which generally friction type of clutches are used next one how we can say a good friction uh, clutches okay what should be the consideration for good frictional clutches as it is a frictional one so friction force is more okay so the coefficient of friction of the contact surface should be high enough to hold the load with the minimum amount of axial force matlab hame pressure kam lagana hai and still it can be easily um, hold the surface and it can be transmit the power so it should not be required any external force to carry the burden so we should not apply too much force on the paddle and then it will get engaged it doesn't look like that we have to apply as minimum as minimum as minimum uh, as possible that much force should be applied because if it is uh, like that if you have to apply much more and more uh, pressure then it may be hectic to the operator and which is not the uh, motto of a designer okay so it should be the minimum uh, axial force is needed to uh, operate it should not require external force yes it is same second one is the moving parts of the clutching should be lightweight to minimize the inertia load at a high speed yes because if the the parts which are we are using which are having a, a higher weight then because it is continuously rotating along the axis so because of that centripetal force it try to move away from uh, the center as the mass is increases so that inertia get increased to ye hona nahi chahiye otherwise it will try to uh, uh, go away from the center and which is which is not uh, the Uh, appropriate requirement of good friction clutches heat generated at a contacting surface should be dissipated rapidly yes if it is not 
done, then the uh, wear and tear can be occur because the uh, strength of that material get loosened as the temperature get increased. It should have a provision for uh, taking up the wear of contact. And last one is the guard. The projecting part by covering and provide a provision for easy repair. So in a, in a nutshell, you can say the design should be as much compact. It should be a part which is you are using for designing any type of friction type of clutches uh, should be as minimum as possible. And it should be closed enough so that if any wear out, any failure can be occurred, so it will be it will not be harmful to the operator or any uh, other components of the machine then requirement of materials which can be used for flexion crushes so following a few requirements or few considerations should be we need to understand the properties of that material the actual Contact surface of the frictional curve is the friction lining. So lining are the subjected to the several rubbing during the machine run. There are many factors that decide the material for lining is viable or not. However, the lining material should have a certain qualities. It should be have a relatively high and uniform coefficient of friction under all service condition. It should have a high resistance to wear. It should withstand a high compressive load. It should be chemically inter inert, oil, moisture. It should not be affected because of these. Then high heat conductivity. It should rapidly dissipate the heat generated. And it should have excellent camp, uh, capability with cast iron facing okay so these are the few requirements for the material which we can use for frictional cutches now what are the different materials which material we can choose so here i have identified few materials which are normally used for uh, as a liner asbestos based lining metallic friction lining and uh, cinematic friction lining. So these three uh, different type of linings are available in the market and we are nowadays we are using uh, in various applications. So <clears throat> we can discuss one by one. Clutch. It is an apparatus may be exposed in an environmental condition, different environmental condition, and must be able to endure the moisture, dust, and other environmental factors. While continuing to provide consistent clutch engaging, disengaging operation, uh, may or may not be, all components are subjected to the friction, frequent friction. These particular components must be exhibit all, all of the qualities while also maintaining a high coefficient of friction, which is the ratio of force of friction between two bodies in contact with, with each other. These frictional materials are often rough and textured to provide additional friction and increase the efficiency of transmission. In general, the compression of the clutch paddle or lever causes a several spring connected to a pressure plate to compress as well. This pulls the plate and connect with the clutch disc, which is away from the flywheel, which is bolted to the engine crankshaft. The, di the disconnection stops the rotation of clutch disc with the inert disconnection to the central hub of the disc from the input shaft. The driver may be shifting gears or it may be uh, going to stop or something else 
after shifting the paddle is released and then the clutch dis disengage the flywheel the clutch system works to ensure the consistent clutch engagement and disengagement the amount of high pressure but very low friction components such as the pressure plates steel cast iron aluminum ceramic are commonly used materials while the abs asbestos was once of the most popular choice of the element encountered the large amount of the friction healthy hazard have lead clutch manufacturer to find alternate so the alternates are we has been nothing but the ceramic copper steel iron mineral uh, then uh, cellulose armide chopped grass rubber brass fibers all all are used in the creation of composite material which is used for clutches then in this the amalgamation are used in that they uh, retain the qualities friction resistance and the strength of any and all power powders and fibers used in in their formation okay so that composite is nothing but we can use the in the powder form and we can use it using the binders we can bind them okay by using adhesive binders and we can material uh, we can uh, take all the properties and uh, uh, what you can say the advantage advantages we can combine with each other and we can find prepare a composite material that can be useful uh, with all uh, appropriate uh, uh, properties which is required for a good material uh, used for friction clutches so these uh, clutch materials are often attached to via rivets or a strong adhesion uh, to the metal bosses uh, based on the field experience as well as uh, chemical and mechanical engineering allows constant advancement in the clutch material design this advancement result in a reduce in the maintenance and operating cost we also the longer life then reduce the wear better functionality and overall consumer satisfaction then the classification of friction clutches friction clutches are basically classified in the three different categories plate clutch or disc clutch cone clutch and centrifugal clutch so plain clutch plate clutch or disc clutch having again two types single plate or multi plate single plate and multi plate again classified as a dry clutch and wet clutch now we will see the different consideration should be we have to consider or keep in mind while designing the friction clutches first one the suitable material forming the contact surface should be selected appropriate surfaces should be selected then moving parts of the clutch should be having low weight in order to minimize the inertia load especially in a high speed services next the clutch should not be required any external forces to maintain the contact of the friction surface so uh, the low as as we discussed the friction gripping is more and with a uh, low or minimum applied force the provision for taking up wear of the contact surface must be provided the clutch should have a provision for facilitating repairs easily repairable the clutch should have a provision for carry away the heat generated at the contact surface the projection parts of the clutch should be conveyed by the guard okay so in today's lecture we will discuss uh, the, that much okay in next lecture we will discuss uh, the actual single plate multi plate and cone clutch and their designs okay so basic 
uh, we need to understand the after because of after that we can able to design uh, appropriate clutch okay uh, i hope you have understood the basic concept that uh, type of material classifications and which type of material clutches we are going to discuss in further okay thank you thank you very much